Hey you guys, I am in Palo Alto right now, but we can't ignore what's going on in Florida. As you can see, even the news station on here is talking about the impacts of Hurricane Ian. And I made a video about three weeks ago about the Tesla solar roof. And many of you are asking me for an update now that Hurricane Ian has impacted so many parts of Florida. So even though I'm here at my hotel in Palo Alto awaiting AI day, I did want to reach out to my friend down in Florida with the Tesla solar the roof to get an update from him. So here is some of our conversation. Because I've had a couple of people ask me how, um, you know, obviously how your roof has done. I mean, there were like some people asking right. before, you know, when they saw that I made the video, how is that going to hold up in Florida weather? Now we've ex obviously experienced some Florida weather. So I'm going to mute myself so that we can hear your response really well. So just kind of explain what all has gone on for you. We've uh, certainly had a lot of rain. Many Tesla solar roof and Powerwall owners are talking about how their energy products performed on Twitter. And look at these pictures, for example. Kelly Roofing, this is a roofing company based in Southwest Florida that also participates in Tesla's third party solar roof installer program, shared these images. Apparently the Tesla solar roof stood up to Hurricane Ian with 155 mile winds and a 10 foot storm surge. So this power wall in this photo was underwater for hours and is still working perfectly. We had uh, nearly 24, almost 48 hours of rain and then high winds pretty much yesterday because I was on both ends of the uh, storm. Quite a bit of water in the front yard, but it's died down, excuse me. <clears throat> it's died down, drained back. So, uh, but I uh, sent some footage for you to to see what what was going on yeah i mean we you know some estimates are that it was up to 155 mile per hour winds did it ever get that windy near you it was downgraded to probably category one by the time it hit me because it had all that land to travel over by the time it got here so thankfully not that bad but we did have some pretty good gusts you know you have power wall as well how how did everything hold up for you yeah so that that was pretty awesome i have to say i i've been through some storms in the past where i've gone without power for a week uh even the power pole snapped in my front yard at one point so and i'm last in line uh in the power grid for this side of the um, neighborhood so having the power walls having the solar system this time around that peace of mind in itself was great and it kicked in it ran uh on battery for 18 hours so i was able to run everything in the house it's a whole house system so i basically was able to do everything as normal uh, the only thing that really affected me was the the internet outage that i experienced and i'm in a gully uh here so i didn't have much cell phone coverage either and you don't so, have starlink yet no <laughs> Oh, I thought you did for some reason. No. No. Uh, it's apparently on the list of things now. Um, my neighbor who just got the Tesla panels installed, he's got two power wells as well, uh, ordered Starlink for himself for an RV trip he's doing, and he managed to get it working from his house uh, in, in the meantime. So it worked out pretty well for him. And knowing that, I said, it's got to be a backup plan. Yeah. For internet as well. Yeah, I'm shocked that you have the roof, but you don't have Starlink. <laughs> what the heck? That's why. Well, wild. Uh, because I was living in Italy the last three years, uh, it was not an opportunity for me to, to get it. So Bob says he's had his Tesla solar roof for just almost a year in November, and he's already getting to see how it performs in some major weather. Uh, very, very sad what is going on with this hurricane, but I wanted to reach out and give you guys this update since so many of you asked me exactly what is going on with his roof. Some of you were kind of skeptical about how it would perform, and I know for sure those with the power wall are also very grateful. Um, he's had power the entire time, which is just remarkable to think about. There were some photos of like the power wall completely that had been submerged underwater, and they oh, not yeah. only survived but like performed like is that just crazy to you that is pretty crazy i i think i caught uh, another 
YouTuber talking about it yesterday, Rob Maurer on Tesla Daily. Uh, and there were some pictures to go with it. So yeah, I, I can't uh, believe that the system was able to withstand that. Remind me how long, like, are you used to this Florida weather? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm born and raised in Florida, so this is nothing new for me. I mean, then 2004, 2005, when those three storms came through, I was without power for a week each one. So this has and, just got to be so amazing to know that you're not going to be in that situation again. Yeah, I I definitely am very happy and pleased with that. I mean, that's one of the things I love about it. And uh, one of the things I've been delaying on doing for so many years, and just because this reason or that reason or... I can go a week without power, but in the middle of July, in the middle of August, when you get to the point of you can't be in your own house and you got to camp out in the front yard in a hammock, it's it's time to do something different. Yeah. What about (laughs) your neighbors? Do they have any power or no way? So uh, with that outage, we we had uh, about 24 hours without power. So I had the windows open. Uh, Because it actually got to like 66, 67 degrees down here after the storm. And I hear generators going. So, yeah, everybody was without power for that time frame. And then you're hearing people having to fart with it, trying to get it started all over again when it runs out of gas. But you had it the whole time? Yep. That's crazy. And overnight, I only used about 10% of it. So... I was able to get my usage down, shutting down all the equipment and everything I had to about 400 to 600 watts in the whole house. So even with all that and the battery backup being charged up before the storm on on grid, so it, it did that in preparation for the storm, I was able to survive overnight. Uh, the power went out at like midnight. I didn't even realize it. Uh, the only thing I would have to address the internet connection. When it went out, I wasn't able to connect to the power walls and see how much usage I had used or what I had left. Oh. So it was, it was a little oh. rough. There was some photos I, I sent you. There was a time where it said I had 76% battery, but only one hour of backup. Or it was really critically low and you better shut down everything or you're going to lose power. But when it restored the internet connection briefly in between uh clouds it said no you're good and it's even charging in the middle of the storm it was it was charging my house or generating enough energy for the house and charging the battery that's crazy so it went from 76 percent usage overnight to back to 85 percent by the end of the day so and we were only without power for a day this time, thankfully. So so you think that, you know, a power wall is a great investment for someone in Florida? A hundred percent. There's no way around it. I mean, I, I wouldn't go back to generator ever again. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a no brainer. I mean, <laughs> really. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. Even with them being outside, like you said, I mean, they, they weathered the storm just fine. And you said that you had some people come to stay with you that are displaced? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, a, a co-worker of mine lives near a river, uh, oh. and it was backing up into the back of her house and into her street. So they were all required to evacuate, and I just had her come over and stay with me for the morning until she managed to get a, a hotel for her three kids, a husband, and two dogs. Now, I understand like most of the damage kind of has been in the Fort Myers area. How far away are you from that? Uh, They're on the other side of the coast, so it's a good two to three hours Okay. uh, down to them. But it seems most of the aftermath is after the storm with the the rising waters in the river because Uh, even yesterday during the storm, her neighborhood was fine. But with the river rising now, she had to get out oh two days gosh. after. Wow. Yeah. So, and it's uh, causing a lot of 
trouble for a lot of people who live around the rivers because it's expected to rise. I, I can't complain. A lot of people are talking about return on investment and how much money it costs it, but it's the peace of mind at this point. When you're in a situation like this and you get storms on a regular basis, I mean, not really regular, but enough to, to be a problem. I mean, I just got it installed in November and I'm already experiencing it my first year of how good it's doing for me. So wow, I can't complain. That's I can't wild. complain. No, that's, I'm so yeah. glad you're okay. We were just there. Yeah. I was just I there making and group Bob video, man. <laughs> I know it's nuts. And the storm isn't even like a week old and, and yeah. it got here and built up that fast. Yeah. Scary. So yeah, it, it was totally unexpected. Really, I thought for sure this late in the game, we wouldn't have to worry about it. But And remind me, you have two power walls, right? Two power walls, yep. Power. 10 kilowatt system. So, yeah, I was able to, on a good day, it generates uh, seven and a half kilowatt peak time. Okay. Uh, but, again, I was only using about 0. 0.4, 0. 0.6 kilowatts. And today I actually backfed to the grid because the power walls were full and they didn't have anywhere else to go so oh my gosh yeah. i didn't know you could do that yep so cool finally i think that's actually the first time oh wow again it was all of the uh usage in the house with the yeah. computer equipment we were running yeah. all got shut down for the storm so right oh that makes sense wow okay what the heck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you for doing this quick call. Um, I yeah, really sure appreciate so. it. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate that. Mm -hmm.